my lovelies, welcome back. First of all, can I just say a huge thank you to all of you for sending such lovely messages to me. You know I've not been 100%. I'm pleased to say that I think we've got a solution to the problem. It's taken a while, it's taken antibiotics, painkillers and a visit to my doctor and back to my dentist. But hopefully in the next couple of weeks it's going to be sorted. My instinct originally was correct that it was a problem with sort of teeth and jaw and it wasn't a joint problem and the doctor confirmed that but unfortunately I did develop a very nasty abscess which swelled the whole of my face around here during the week. Luckily it's gone down but if it does look a little bit puffy, swollen, I am um, just ignore it. Okay, I've kind of got used to it, but sometimes certain angles you're aware of it. Also, it is slightly affecting my speech a little, and I'm probably lisping just a little bit more. Um, yeah, so just ignore me if I seem a little bit self-conscious about it or my speech seems a little bit off. It will get better, but I just want to say thank you. Some of the comments, seriously, because I was feeling so sorry for myself, which I shouldn't be because it could be a lot worse, I know that, but I'd had so much pain to the point that I had been in tears that reading such lovely messages not only helped, but I cried in a good way, that it always helps to know that, you know, there are people out there. So thank you so much and I'll keep you updated but hopefully it'll be sorted. Today's video is a haul video for you. Now this is a massive um, selection of products from so many different places. I don't know if I can remember them all off the top of my head. It's drugstore and high-end for you. I have products from Superdrug, feelunique.com, Cult Beauty, um, Space NK, Nordstrom, and I think that's it. She says looking. I'm sure that's it. So a total mixture for you. Let's get started. Start with the drugstore and it's the good old Batiste dry shampoo. I still love these. I know there's all these newer things out there and high-end stuff that I didn't like, but I like Batiste. It's the dark and deep brown hint of colour shampoo for dark hair. I love it, I love the smell of it, it absorbs the oil on my hair and it's really great if you've washed your hair and if it's anything like mine where it's all very sort of flat and you can't get any volume to it, it really does give you that texture to lift and volumise your hair. Love it and it's such a great price as well. So. My next is a moisturiser that I've used quite a lot in the past, stopped using and when I'm sort of I don't know, when I don't want anything fussy or fancy, I just want a moisturiser. I love this and it's the Embryolise, it's La Creme Concentrate and it's beautiful. It's for all skin types, it absorbs nicely, it hydrates the skin without leaving it super sort of dewy. Makeup goes over it fantastically and I just like it. It's a really good size, it's great value, mm. it lasts for ages, lovely consistency, it doesn't have any sort of fragrance to it. You can use it morning or evening, there's no SPF with this, but I absolutely love it. My next products are nail polish and I've really just stuck with red nails. Throughout the whole of the summer it's just been a varying shade of red. And I don't know, the weather changed slightly and it got a little bit cooler and I think people started to think a bit autumn-y. You know, the autumnal thoughts were there. Today it's like summer again, which is ironic because I think everybody's started to pack their summer clothes away. It's so warm outside today, it's beautiful. But I had a look round at a few nail polish colours and I've actually used up my Chanel Rouge Noir, which was not great. But there are so many dupes out there, I thought I'm going to go for a dupe. And the one I went for is a Sally Hansen um, Complete Salon Manicure. And this is called Pat on the Black. Um, I have to say, it's more a purpley tone, but it's beautiful. The brush is very thick on application. It's a very wide brush, which I like. But this nail polish is one of the best I've used. It stays, it rarely chips gorgeous colour and it really is a dupe for Rouge Noir. 
I love it. I've got it on today, but I've also got an Essie glitter polish over the top as well. But I love this and I would certainly look at others in the range. I got this from Superdrug. Then I also headed to the Barry M counter because you can't beat a bit of Barry M. Great prices, reasonable nail polish colours. And I went for sort of two lighter shades, which is odd for me because I like my dark shades. And then a yeah, a darker one. But I went for sort of a grey, sort of stormy sky blue, which I like, which is the Elderberry 423. And I love that. It's almost a lavender colour, but I love grey as a colour anyway. Love that. Then I also went for this sort of taupe, nude, pinky tone. And this is Almond, number 22. It's so many different shades in so many different lights, but I just, I liked the ease of that. And then I absolutely adored this one, which is Watermelon 422, gorgeous green colour. Beautiful, always give them a shake um, before you use them. Um, I don't actually shake polishes, I always give them a roll between my hands. I find it's a better way with them. But I like Barry M. These are the Jelly High Shine. Love these, they apply beautifully. Generally you need two coats, I think, with Barry M. Um, otherwise they can look a bit streaky. Sometimes even three. But yeah, really nice colours, super colours in the range. And I noticed the other day that they're getting their autumn colours in as well. There's a lot of sort of reddy browns and things out there. These and really enjoyed applying some slightly different shades rather than red this time. Next, a product that I've heard a whacking load about and finally dipped my toe in. I love Periconi MD. As you know, the Chia Kia Serum is one of my favourite facial oils ever. Um, but I've never tried their sort of other things, makeup as such. So I plumped for the No Concealer Concealer and I've heard varying reports about this, but I'm a big believer, unless you try it yourself, you really don't know. Um, I've used it a few times, it's very, very lightweight. Um, it does make a difference. My dark circles are quite distinctive, to be fair, but then you always view yourself differently. Maybe to somebody else they're not. I did notice a slight difference. I can't say it took away the effect altogether. And what I've started doing is applying this as almost like a base and then using a concealer over the top. I do like it. I would do really want to use it a little bit longer. It does have an SPF of 35, which is fantastic. And for that reason, I would consider repurchasing it unless there's anything else out there with an SPF. But yeah, I'm still undecided whether it's as great as I really want it to be. But you know, leave it with me and I'll come back to you on this one. Another part of my beauty haul, lip colour. Um, and it's a company I haven't used their products for so long. I honestly suddenly thought, do they still exist? Have they left the country? And again, it was the place I buy my brush cleaner from that I first discovered this brand. And I got a lip gloss from them years ago, loved it, but time moves on. But they do still stock it and it's called Bote, if you've never heard of them. They do all sorts of makeup things. I love them. Um, I got the Bote, this was actually a set, which was great, because I, what I wanted was this. And I couldn't get it on its own, so it came in the set, but I'm so glad I got the set. Now, the Bote had one of the lip glosses, which is Luminous Volume Gloss in Urge 006. Gorgeous sort of pinky red, beautiful, subtle colour on the lips. These are super sticky glosses. So if you have long hair, it is going to stick to your gloss. But this gloss lasts so long, it's worth it. And then the colour I wanted to try was this, which is called Fever. And it's the gel stain for cheeks and lips. Um, I wouldn't use it on my cheeks because I'm rubbish with anything like that on my cheeks. But for lips, I mean, it looks like blood. I don't want to put you off. It's just gorgeous. I love it. I love the packaging. I love how it looks. It comes with a dough for applicator and it's the most beautiful sort of deep red lip stain. And gosh, does it stay. It's fantastic. Absolutely worth their weight in gold. Love them. So glad they're still out there. I will put a link um, to the brand so you can have a look yourselves. But another lip product, and I don't know if I featured this already in a previous haul video, can't remember. All I can say is, excuse that, that's a boat just coming into harbour, that's why you can hear it. 
um, is the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede Lipsticks and I've really been impressed with this. Great colour, this is 095 Finale and it's almost like a coral red pink. Beautiful, very long lasting, not great if you've got dry lips, make sure you've exfoliated your lips well before you apply it, but I've loved it. My next products are from Rimmel and they were launched Ooh, probably about a month or so ago. One is the wonderful mascara with argan oil in this lovely bronze packaging. I've got the shade black 001 and yeah it's great if you just want to elongate and separate your lashes. If you're looking for full-on fluttery thick lashes it's not for you. Um, two, three coats, it looks very nice, it really does give you the length, but I prefer a mascara that bulks. Nothing wrong with the mascara, I will use it, but it isn't one I think I would rush back to repurchase. However, I absolutely love their brow this way, and I'm so pleased they brought it out. I've been using the Benefit um, brow gel, which I liked. Very tiny brush, but it's a lot of money for what it is. And I do feel that the colour, even though I've got the darker brown, is still a bit light for me. This is 003 Dark Brown. Really hard to get hold of. It seems to be a very popular colour. The brush is a lot larger than the Benefit. Now, if you've got delicate, fine brows, you may find this a bit too much for you. I find this perfect for my brows. It just deposits enough colour, takes it through, really shapes them and gives me that definition. I love it and I have to say it has definitely replaced Benefit. I would repurchase this a million times over. My next products are from Gosh, which you can find in Superdrug. And I was just having a little wonder one day, having a girly moment and thought, oh, this looks interesting. Now I do have their mineral foundation as well that I'm trying. I haven't got it here. So far so good but the colours are really difficult to match because they only have certain colours. They don't have the full range. But I do like the mineral foundation. There's more coverage I find than the bare minerals. But yeah I'm still working on that but that'll be a separate video. These are two from the colour range. One is the Giant Blush which is 04 Passion and I suppose it's almost like a take off from all the blushes that are out there. Charlotte Tilbury has one that's quite similar. But I really like this. It's in a bit of a state because I've used a brush on the top of it so it doesn't look attractive. Gorgeous colour, easy to apply, great pigment and it stays all day. Absolutely love it. Very, very impressed with that and I would certainly look at the other colours in the range. My next I loved and recently I've seen another, I think MAC have packaged some of their new shadows like this. This is the Gosh palette and it's called Nine Shades Shadow Collection and this is 001 to enjoy in New York and it's my favourite colours, all the purples, taupes and everything. Beautiful packaging, I just love this sort of, it's almost like there isn't a well in there, it's just flat. Really lovely, I think it was about £10, so it's not cheap, but I found the colours are very long lasting. Nice pigment, you do need to build them slightly more than maybe one of the higher end palettes, but beautiful choice of colours out there. There's about three different sets, and I love this, I just think it's perfect. An ideal as well, it's got the mirror in the lid, but great if you're going off somewhere, it's just a nice size. But have a look at, gosh, they're really sort of upping their game, I feel. My next is another blusher and it's Kevin Arquan and it's Prevella um, or Prevala and it's soft pink and they've altered their creamy glow packaging. Now I prefer, I have a circular compact which I much prefer, I think it's easy to work your brush around a circular compact but this is the new packaging and I just love this. Now you could say I have a million pinks like this and I do but when it's on my face I don't and I do find that Kevin Arquan blushes the cream ones just have more blendability about them than a lot out there they work for me the pigments beautiful they give a gorgeous sort of healthy sheen and they just work and they're worth their weight in gold they're just beautiful beautiful products and it was nice to add to the selection you can buy them in duos as well um, but I like the individual packaging of this one but yeah another one to the collection
I'm going to put my little bit of plastic over the top because I'm funny like that. Okay, I think this is featured in a favourites video. I'm sure it was in my August favourites, but it was a fairly recent purchase, but I loved it straight away. And it's the By Terry Balm de Rose and it's the colour. And this is Cherry Bomb Shade 3. Um, ridiculously silly money but it lasts so long I've used this time and time again great on the lips it's for the lips I have however used it on my cheeks it is sticky but if you just put a tiny bit on it works just exactly the same as a cream blush exactly the same nice hint of color it stays it's not sticky when you blend it into your face and I just think this is the perfect sort of perk you up product especially if you can't be bothered to wear makeup I've had a few days where I really just haven't felt like wearing anything but I want it to look a little bit less scary in case somebody came to the door and this has been a godsend but I like this it's nourishing and the fact that I haven't had a reaction to it which I did with the original Balm de Rose um, is a plus love it love the colour which is why I bought it very very happy with this okay fragrance now you know me I'm a Chanel girl at heart love Chanel but I've been reading about different fragrances and I wanted something zesty and sort of lemony that kind of limes lemons going through it um, I don't know why I've gone really sort of citrus at the moment and I'd read an awful lot about the eccentric molecules collection and these are fragrances that basically work with your sort of pH balance your pheromones as well and it sort of gives you a very distinctive fragrance your own fragrance so but that tends to happen with any any fragrance that you wear I think everybody's pH levels affect it and make it smell differently but anyway um, after reading through it I went for the eccentric zero one I love this because it's made in England which is always a good thing I like it because it does have that lemony citrus smell smells really lovely um i can't say i'm blown away by it as i do with my chanel i just love my chanel but this does sort of refresh me and it just makes me feel a bit more uplifted um yeah i've, I've enjoyed using it so far but i i really need to use a lot more of it before i'm sort of have a strong thought about it but so far so good and the smaller sizes are a really good price because fragrance is so extortionate um, a lot of the time so it's nice to be able to buy a smaller size of this they do have larger sizes but at a reasonable price so yeah I've been spritzing that quite a lot I think when you're not well that zesty fragrances just work they just sort of refresh you and make you feel a little bit better just thought I'd mention that. Skincare, you know me, there has to be skincare in here. Two, one is a cleanser and I went for the smaller size because I'd heard so much about this and it's the Gentle Cream Cleanser from MV Organic Skincare and this is made in Australia. Um, I've used it a couple of times. I don't want to give a strong review because I've not used it enough that I'm happy to say to you it's this, this and this. So far so good. Very creamy. I love the feel on my skin. I love the packaging of this. Um, yeah, it's still in use and I will get back to you with a review about this. But so far, I, I really like it. And then finally, I used my um, liquid gold, my Alpha H liquid gold. And I finally have a more civilised, newly packaged bottle for you. Used it before, glycolic acid. I've really noticed a difference since I've been using this. The last three or four times, the next day I've used it, my skin just looks so much fresher, brighter, smoother. Really impressed with it. I just use cotton wool, sweep it on my face. Don't put anything else over the top, so I don't dilute it in any way and yeah I just carry on with my normal routine the next morning. I've probably been using this maybe once a week on an evening now and it's really worked with my skin. I may alter that routine as you know I do shake it up a bit but really really um, glad to have introduced this back in and more often as well it's, it's really made a difference to my skin. Final product and 
I've been wanting to sort of try this brand for quite some time. I didn't realise this had such a cult status until I started reading up about it. And I went for a palette that for me had all the colours I like. This is the Pro Palette. It's the Lorac Pro Palette and it's from Lorac Cosmetics in America. Um, very, very slim line palette. I like that. There's not a lot of bulk to it. A sort of velvety smooth um, packaging, the kind of packaging that you know that you're going to get fingerprints and eyeshadow prints all over it, it's not going to stay this tidy. I have been using it so it's not immaculately clean. You've got a mirror at the top and then you've got all your shades here and there's still there was the plastic there. So there are all your shades. At the top you have all the matte shades and then along the bottom they are the sort of shimmer glitter shades as well. A lovely mixture from your taupes, pinks, to the bronzy browns, purples and then greys which you know I love. Um, instinctively you see these colours all the time. I could probably pull out three or four palettes that I already have where this range of colours is prevalent. It's, it just works and that's why you see it. Um, very very small sectioned eyeshadows which are fine with a MAC 217. Um, yeah, I'm in the process. This week has been my first week of using it very smooth eyeshadows, they're almost creamy when you apply them, lovely pigment quality to them. Um, I'd like to use it obviously a lot longer to really give a proper um, review for you. Very nice, I like it. Is it worth all the hype? I'm not sure. And I will put a link for this. This appears to only be available in America. Um, the site I use, they give you the full price before you order it. So you put in what you want to buy from the site. Some things you cannot buy beauty-wise and it will tell you it's not available. The ones you do, it will tell you the shipping and it will tell you the customs cost. So everything is paid for. There's nothing else that's going to come back and bite you um, after you've received your products, anything like that. It's all there for you, but make sure you check it because don't be misled by, oh, it only costs $20. Check your postage and packing, check your customs costs, because that certainly tops your bill up. So just be aware of that. But it's a much easier option to use. You see the full price, you know what you're paying, and you know when you get your product, you're not gonna get anything else coming back in and no customs charges at a later date. So I will put the site that I use, and that, my lovelies, is that. Um, my apologies if I stumbled or lisped or seemed a bit, I don't know, dazed at times. I am on antibiotics and painkillers so the mixture is making me very tired and sometimes, I don't know, my brain is just not sparking as it should be but hey, that's life isn't it? Hope you enjoyed that. If you've any questions, you know what to do. I'll put all the links to all the products. Thank you again for your kind wishes and thoughts. And hopefully all will be back to normal very soon. But it's not stopped me wearing red lippy. Thanks, guys. Bye.